All right, question five, plastic hardness. Part A, before constructing the 95% confidence interval, the manager of the quality control group creates a graph that you see at the right along with a few summary measures. So clearly state the assumption that is assessed by looking at this graph. So immediately, the graph tells you by the title that's a QQ plot. And if you recall from lecture, a QQ plot is designed to test the assumption that the population of all hardness scores or Brunel scores in this case, has a normal model. So essentially QQ plots are always testing normality of the population. And that is essentially the only thing you need to write here. So we'll go ahead and write that. The assumption of normality for the population. Okay, so the keywords here are normality and population. If you do that, you'll get full credit. Um, so moving on to part B, the sample mean Brunel score was 22, uh, 229.5 points. What is the standard deviation for these 16 observations? And show your work. So we will, for this question, we'll uh, use these numbers. So the mean here is given to be 229.5, and the standard error actually needs to be filled in. It's 4.13. 4.13. So in order to find the standard deviation, note that the standard deviation for these populations, for this observation, is not the same as the standard deviation of the mean, stand, or standard error of the mean. So the standard error of the mean is referring to the standard deviation of the sample that they take, the sample of 16 observations. So if you want to find the standard deviation, you are going to use the standard error of the mean with this formula. S is equal to square root of n is equal to SE of the mean. So we want to find S, which is the standard deviation of the population. We know what n is, n is just 16, and we know th what the standard error is, which is just 4.13. So we'll just do this algebra equation. It's going to be s equals 4.13 times 4, which is the square root of 16, and then we'll get s is equal to 16.52. So our final answer will be 16.52 points s equals. And that'll be it for part b. So for part c, we want to provide the 95% confidence interval for estimating the population mean Brunel score. So recall that the way you find a population, a confidence interval is with this general formula. So we'll take sample mean plus or minus. In this situation, we'll be using a, we'll be using T star instead of Z star because T star is the T score is a score that we'll use for the sample. And because this question concerns the sample, we have to use the T distribution. So we're going to use T star in this case. T star times standard error. So they tell you that the sample mean is 229.5. And you plus or minus. And next we need to find T star. So what's T star? T star in this case would be 2.15 or 2.13. And you can always find the relevant T star by going to your um, your yellow formula card. And in this case, you'll be looking at table A 8.2, T star multipliers for confidence interval and rejection region critical values. You're going to use degrees of freedom equals 15 because the sample is n and degrees of freedom, or the sample is 16, and the degrees of freedom is essentially n minus 1, so that's just 16 minus 1, which gives us 15. So DF will be 15. And uh, they specify 90%, 95% confidence interval. And if you look at the table A2, using DF equals 15 and 95%, we're going to find that T star is equal to 2.13. So we'll put 2.13 here. Then multiply it by the standard error of the mean, which has been given before as 4.13. So if you do all the math, you're going to find this to be 229 plus or minus 8.7969. So then your final answer will just be 220.7031 to 
238.2969 if you just take this margin of error and add and subtract it to the sample mean. All right, so that's part C. Last part in this question is part D. They ask you for this particular plastic part, the minimal level for acceptable hardness is 222 points. Based on the data, does it appear that this production run of plastic parts have acceptable hardness on average? So for your answer and provide a brief explanation with numerical support for your answer. So you're going to use the, so recall that the previous answer was 220.7, 238.2969. So, because the value I had to give you, 222, the value of 222 is the minimal level, we want to be assured that the average hardness will be at 222 or any value above 222. But, you'll note that the confidence interval starts at 220.7 and goes to 238. The confidence interval includes 222 as well as values below 222. So, for example, 220.7, uh, 221, 221.5, and... Because the interval contains values below 222, we can say that this production run of plastic parts does not have the acceptable hardness on average because there could be values um, there could be values for the minimal level of, of acceptable hardness that are below 222. So we'll just say no because the value of 222 is the minimal level, but the interval includes values below 222. And that's it for question five.